I can guarantee with Vladimir, he throws a lot of punches. He's a big guy. He's uh, unbeaten in many years now. You know, he's got a good record. And you can guarantee he's going to come out and uh, really give it a go. But unfortunately, his go isn't going to be enough uh, on fight night. And uh, I'll find a way to not only beat him, but uh, knock him out spectacularly. Yeah, um, some fierce words uh, earlier as well from... Of course, David Hay, uh, I, I love the one. I looked in his eyes and saw him beaten and broken. I looked in his eyes for 20 minutes and visualised me destroying him. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, delighted to welcome top man, the Suns boxing correspondent, Colin Hart, to talk sport again. Colin, good morning. Morning, Colin. Yeah, good morning, fellas. Now, Colin, this should be a cracker. You know, this is this, this fella, you know, he's, he's a hard puncher, Kl uh, Klitschko, looking for his 50th knockout. Um, will it be David Hay he knocks out, Colin, or do you go for Hay? No, I go for Klitschko, just. I mean, he's a 74 on favourite, uh, but I just think that the size will be just that much too much for David Hay. David's got a tremendous chance of winning this fight because he is so much faster than Klitschko, and if he can get in and out, past that trombone left jab that Klitschko has got, and of course a pretty potent right hand you could, if you knock out 49 opponents even if some of them were what one would consider in boxing parlance bums he could yeah. still bang mm. and if he hits uh, Hay on the head whether it's on the chin or on the temple I'm afraid he will go over You're right, mm. rapid combinations, Hay, can he get in and out he's done it before with big guys Well, he, he did it with Mr. Valuev if you remember, that yeah. monster uh, they don't come any Russia. bigger. But <laughs> Valuev is a very, very ordinary finer, fighter, and uh, Klitschko is uh, five times better than Valuev. Yeah, slow, wasn't he, Valuev? But Klitschko, you know, OK, he's not got the rapid combinations like he has, but, um, yeah, he's certainly quicker in that aspect, Colin, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely, and uh, that's, speed would... If, if, Clay, if uh, Hayes go to win, speed will do it for him. I know he can bang a bit as well, as we know, I mean, uh, he's knocked out, I think it's 21 of his 23, uh, sorry, 23 of his 25 wins have been by knockout, although most of them, of course, was in the uh, cruiserweight division. Uh, yeah. But, you know, that uh, Vladimir's knockout record is quite remarkable. Colin, I'd, I'd suggest that as the longer the fight goes on, I'd fancy Klitschko. I think David's got to get in there and try and get an early breakthrough and finish him. Well, you know... Um, it's very, very difficult to get a points win in Germany, uh, particularly uh, against the Klitschkos, because they are such firm... I mean, they're idolised in Germany, although, obviously, as we know, they're from the Ukraine, uh, but they lived in Germany for many years. And to get a points uh, decision against them in Germany is going to be very, very difficult. Well, so he's, he's going to have 7,000 support, support hasn't he, Colin? He's going to have 7,000 Brits there all screaming their heads off on him. Yeah, they'll be heard. There'll be about 57 to 60,000 in the uh, stadium, the soccer stadium in Hamburg. But uh, as we know, the Brits even if there's only 1,000, we'll make sure they're heard. I'm considering going to that fight, Colin. Uh, I fancy trip over to Hamburg. Do you think it'll be a good, a good night? It'll be a, fanta it's a fantastic stadium, although I haven't seen it. I've only seen the pictures of it. Yeah. But it, it was built for the uh, World Cup in Germany uh, was, was it, five, yep. 65 years ago. <laughs> so it's a beautiful stadium, and the atmosphere will be tremendous. Um, and let's also uh, rejoice. This is the first serious, meaningful World Heavyweight Championship mm -hmm. for nearly 10 years since Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson fought mm -hmm. in Memphis, Tennessee. Talking Colin, Tyson. Just a Colin, just a quickie. Talking about football stadiums. West Ham got to Wigan Sunday. It's, um, it's not looking good at the moment, Colin. Uh, well, I think you're being kind. I think it's looking terrible. I mean, I don't know what's happened to my club, but they seem to be falling apart from the very top. Some of the comments that the owners have made have been absolutely outlandish at this time of the season. Talk about undermining your own players. I think it's disgraceful. Mm. Talk Colin, just a quick thank one on you. Uh, go on. Uh, just a quick one on Tyson, Colin. Did you see the documentary on him? I did indeed. In and fact, I wrote a column about it. I mean, Tyson's coming up 45, and maybe at long last he has joined the real human race. He seems to have been trying desperately to put his life together and live a proper, decent life as a father and a husband. And hopefully, at long last, he has uh, got rid of all that nonsense that, that surrounded him for many, many years, and he's got himself straight. Nice one, Colin. Thank you. Colin Hart from The Sun, of course. Uh, looking ahead, July the 2nd, uh, cracker, Klitschko against Hay.